What's up, Wisconsin? I know it's been a minute, but after catching up on some much needed sleep and with the election, I guess, finally being over? It felt like a good time to rehash everything As Goes Wisconsin did this year and say thanks to everyone who helped make it happen. Bring on the metaphorical cheese. As in, this is gonna get cheesy. Ooh, 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 ooh. What started as just me getting stuck at my parents' house in March and forcing my mom to do a video showing people how to request an absentee ballot. Well, that wasn't so hard. Turned into another video. An absentee ballot would be in there. Which turned into another video. How to get a witness for your absentee ballot when you live alone. And then that turned into a full-fledged get out the vote comedic content campaign that ultimately ended up reaching 1.7 million Wisconsinites. In less than eight months while working almost entirely remotely, eight UW undergrads and I created nearly 400 pieces of original content, which included how-to videos, explainers, what's been attempted in regards to police reform in Wisconsin, headline roundups, welcome to What's Up in Wisconsin, TikToks, wipe it down, wipe, showing off Milwaukee, and even a music video. Our democracy needs more from us. And we created and published over 180 original images that ranged from voter information, fun Wisconsin facts, well-researched infographics, and even a meme or two. We organically grew an audience of almost 18,000 followers across our social media channels and newsletter. We partnered with Badgers Vote to make videos that reached almost the entire UW-Madison student body. Did you vote yet or no? We were featured in some of Wisconsin's largest media outlets, including the Journal Sentinel, Wisconsin State Journal, and WTMJ. Shout out to Steve Scafidi for being brave enough to make me a regular on his show. And ultimately, we contributed everything we could to Wisconsin's record-breaking voter turnout. On a personal note, I forged new connections, friendships, and mentors through logging upwards of a hundred hours of Zoom calls with Wisconsin organizers, politicians, journalists, candidates, and other community leaders who are all in the fight to continue to move Wisconsin forward. And after spending two decades on the coast, I made the decision to officially move back to Wisconsin. Oh, and I got a haircut. Tis the season to be grateful. So thank you to everyone who donated even a single dollar, who subscribed or followed any of our channels, or who shared any of our content. Thank you to the handful of editors, camera people, and comedians who were there when we needed an extra hand and were willing to be underpaid or not paid at all. Thank you to everyone who supplied accurate voter information or who corrected us to make sure we knew what we were talking about. Thank you to Carissa, Katie, Shelby, Cassidy, Taylor, Harrison, Hannah, and Emma for all of your hard work and for answering me honestly when I asked, is this funny? And thank you to my parents for letting me live for free while I figured this whole thing out. To my dad for being our business manager, and to my mom for stealing the show in every video you were in. I just got us 10 points. Finally, the election might be over, but we're not done yet. As Goes Wisconsin 2.0 is coming back in 2021. We'll continue to bring you state and local news with a comedic spin and stories about how people are making Wisconsin a great place to live for everyone. We'd love to hear your insight on what you think is next in Wisconsin and what stories you want to hear from us. So. Don't be a stranger. Till then, please have a very safe holiday season and on Wisconsin. <laughs>